Being a two-sport athlete and a full-time student is rare to see at the collegiate level. Sophomores Austin Brannigan and Brandon Watkins played basketball in the winter and are now transitioning to men's volleyball in the spring. Here is Brannigan on the similarities between basketball and volleyball. Practice is a lot more free. Um, there isn't as much conditioning, which I kind of like, but uh, there's, uh, there's a lot of fun, outgoing people on both teams, so I enjoy both. Watkins reflects on the scheduling and the smooth transition between the two sports. Well, since they kind of like, I didn't, once basketball ended and the practices were kind of at the same time, like four to six and then four to six in basketball too. So I really just kind of like do my basketball or my volleyball and then homework and basketball. I did basketball and homework. So it's kind of like the same, the judgment was about the same. Watkins played volleyball in high school and now recognizes the talent improvement in college. I would say the transition from college to high school or high school to college is uh, it's a lot faster. So high school, like there wasn't like there'd be like a good hitter, like a good setter, but there wouldn't be a lot. And then like college, everyone's made like really good. Or, you know, so like the hitters are always a good. See, this is a lot faster pace. So I'd say it's, it's a, it was a big transition. Brannigan, in his first season of competitive volleyball, talked about the challenges the sport brings. Playing in volleyball, I've never played in my entire life, and I was nervous. I didn't know what I was doing, and I was just going all over the court. The men's volleyball team resumes action next Friday as they travel to Adrian, Michigan to compete in the Siena Heights University Invitational. Reporting for Globe Sports, my name is William Troyer.